you know that one poem a day will not kill you? We hope you'll find out by listening in every day during April to One Poem a Day Won't Kill You, Yamville County's celebration of National Poetry Month. <music> Hi, I'm Melissa Santanay. I'm going to read a poem by Charles Goodrich, Insects of South Corvallis. I think we meant to find it. Honey Being. I could do that. I could nuzzle into those blossoms, bury my nose in that corolla, rub my belly all over with that succulent pollen. I could live in that body with the requisite poise, with the honeybee's reticent enthusiasm never taking too much from any one blossom, never quarreling with my fellow foragers, keeping my pollen sacs well balanced. I shined a tenet, in tenet erect. I could master the dance steps. I'd love to dance. I have no qualms about humming the solar anthem dawn to dusk, praising the fire in my wings as the one and only engine of pure transportation. Just don't ask me to enter the hive. I get anxious even thinking about that buzzing horde packed together in that angelic density. Inside, I can't tell where, where are their brood chambers, whether they're tombs, which is the honeycomb, which is the catacomb. To whom do I bow? Where do I spit? What if the guard bees take me for an interloper? What will the queen do if she catches me alone? So maybe I'm not ready for that life. Maybe I haven't figured out how to be a human, how to walk straight, pay attention, and try to keep my head out of the clouds. Thank you.